Amethy. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ray, and I'm here with Brandon Swift, fresh off the real world. What's going on, MTV Real World, St. Thomas, in the building, to my man Ray. How was your life in Edison and even in Philly uh, mm -hmm. molded you to the person that you are now? <laughs> Being from Edison, you know, it's definitely one of the more diverse areas mm -hmm. in, in Jersey, and the fact that I grew up around so many different people of uh, different ethnicities, races, religions different type of cliques, into, into this music, into that type of music, just all different types of genres of people. Even when I went to school in Philadelphia, I saw that, you know, Temple's a very diverse school, but it's kind of segregated how everybody would hang out with who, hang out with who. And the thing is, it's always, being growing up in Edison, growing up in this area of Jersey, Central Jersey, it's allowed me to be able to relate to so many different types of people. So it's definitely, it's definitely, Gave me a better feeling for how to relate to people and create personal relationships. Yeah, yeah. No, but let's talk about the real world. Did you think you were really going to make it on the show with that audition tape? Honestly, I actually went to a casting call. Oh. And when I went to the casting call, a girl I was actually uh, dating at the time. She um, she was the one trying out. I was not pressed to do this show. I didn't care about doing the show. So I was just like, all right, I went in there, said my piece. I was extremely blunt. I'm like, yep, I'm not really pressed to do the show. Um, finishing up college. You know, I think the institution of college is BS. You know, you go, you work your ass over four years, and then you don't not even guarantee the job. Um, relationships, I'm not doing it. I tell a chick what it is from the beginning. And I was just like, everybody's watching me like, oh wow, he <laughs> doesn't in. care. <laughs> going right I was just now. going in. Me and the other chick got picked, the chick I was actually messing with at the time, she got picked to stay. And it was like, they picked like actually like 50 something people out of, out of all of Philadelphia to stay after and fill all this paperwork out. And then the paperwork, it was just like, it was questions like, are your parents together? Did your dad ever leave you? What is your view on, um, Obama, are you conservative? Um, which, are you gonna vote in the next election? What is your sex life like? What's your favorite position? Like, yo, crazy in depth. And it's all open-ended questions. Like, who's your best friend? How much you know them for? And it's like 70 questions long. So I just waited around for three to four hours when I didn't want to. Now they like me to stay afterwards, and it's like 50 other people that picked this afterwards. I have to fill this 70 page back, I'm not doing this. I'm like, I'm leaving. And they're like, she's like, no, just fill it out. I'm like, all right, fill it out, hand it in. So it's her, I, that hmm? it's, it's her fault that she's on the show now. It's her fault that she's on the show now. Yes. Yes. But it worked out in your favor. It did. And I'm not saying that I wasn't, I didn't, I'm not saying that being on the real world and being part of the NTV family isn't a, is a blessing mm -hmm. and a great opportunity. It really is. Seven Wait. strangers picked to live in the house. <laughs> yeah. It's real. So how has that been, like, being on the show, having camera people follow you around, your every mm -hmm. move, going to the bathroom, bringing girls back to the house? When I first used to, like, be in the house and they would walk into the room, I would be like this. You know, I would notice them now, and they, would, and I, they used to yell at me, Swift, don't look at the camera, I'm like, all right, cool, I'll work on it. But after a week and a half, two weeks, I got used to it, and it's like, they were there, but they weren't there. What do you want people to take away from you that they don't get to see on the show? We had a lot of restrictions. I mean, there's a lot of places you couldn't go if it wasn't clear to shoot. So, and honestly, I built such strong relationships with people on the island that I was closer with some people on the island than I was necessarily people in my house that I live with. People didn't see me. It's because I'm out and about. I'm exploring the island. I'm doing everything. I, I People really start calling me like, you really call me like, yo, you're really like a St. Thomas native now. And it's just like, for me to see, for people to see my story and really see what I really did and, how I live my life out there, you would have to really follow me around out on the island because I spent more time out on the island than in the house. What I want people to know about me is that, you know, I really do get along with so many different types of people. I hang out with everyone. Like, I love everybody. I love, I'm about forgiving and reconciliation, and I'm about really about having a good time going out and exploring the world. And that's what, and that's exactly what I did when I was on the show. I wasn't really pressed about being on camera, getting camera time. 
that's what they want to spend. You've been blowing up, you've been doing commercials, mm -hmm. going different places. What is next for you now? I've been doing a lot of different photo shoots here and there, interviews, appearances. Running around with MTV, I also host my live web show every Wednesday while the show is actually airing. Where, uh, yes. where can people find that? You can actually find that on um, Vocal, but you can go to my Insta or you can go to my Instagram or my Twitter, Beast with MTV. And uh, I have links that click on it, you can watch it. You can watch it live with me and ask me any questions they want and, and everything. So, you know, I like to interact with fans yeah. and everything like that. I also did commercial for AT&T, you know, not texting me drive. And I think that's, I was actually very happy that AT&T, you know, wanted to put me on board to do, be a part of the commercial. But I actually did have one of my guys just died once in you know, 16 up in a car accident. And her brother died too, and her parents lost both the kids in the accident. So. That definitely meant a lot to me to do to do be a part of a commercial like that. I just had a sensational shoot with my man Cliff, my man Ray, video doing a videography and you know interviewing man. Definitely good people right here. Definitely enjoy coming through and showing love to people I know for a minute in a while. You know what I mean? Honestly, those are the people that I hold to my heart. You know what I mean? And I actually will feel most comfortable with and trust. You know what I mean? They know me before before this. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> That's what really so counts. You can follow me at B Swift MTV. You can follow me on Instagram, B Swift MTV. <laughs> but also, so also, I have the website, officialswift.com. We can get all, we can get all the juicy stuff that I'm doing. I don't do the media, photos, my bio. I also got the Swift Sweeties T-shirts coming out. Swift Sweeties. All the Swift Sweeties Whoa. out there. On Twitter, all crazy. All my Swift Sweeties hashtags, Swift Sweeties. I love y'all, ladies out there. <laughs> So, you know, it's a lot of stuff on the site, so definitely check it out. And yeah, so that's hey. where you can really find me.